Today I fucked up by letting my mom believe my lube was a bottle of hand sanitizer. The fuck up happened today, but the lead up started last week. My mom is having her house renovated. Because I haven't had a meal that wasn't delivered by Uber in the better part of 6 months, and because I love her very much. I invited her to stay with me for the 6 to 8 weeks until the job is done. Since I'm in my mid 30s and I haven't lived with my mom in a long time, my mom proofing skills have gotten a little rusty. So she arrived and, since it's her first time seeing my house fully furnished, I'm giving her a tour of the place. I'm feeling pretty good about myself because the house is clean and she seems adequately impressed by my decorating choices. We enter my bedroom and I'm showing her the custom drapes and the new bed and the matching night stands and, it's a lovely bottle. I'm immediately struck with a bold dread because I realize, in my rush to clean the house, I'd left my bottle of lube on my nightstand. I turn around and she's got it in her hands, examining it. A few months ago, I purchased this lube from Amazon. It was reasonably priced, had a decent rating and came with a pump top. All qualities I look for in masturbation aids. It also happens to come in what the manufacturer calls a discreet container, to wit, it's decorated with flowers and the writing is in a nice, loopy, artsy font. So there's my mother, holding the bottle and struggling with all her might to read the label and there I am doing my best not to just go ahead and fucking die. What is it? Hand sanitizer? Yeah, mom. Hey. Come check out the bathroom. That's about a day I fucked up a bottle. Where did you get this? No, I don't remember. Probably TJ Maxx. Hey, come check out these towels. Well I like it. We'll have to go look for one for me before I leave. Here, put it in your bathroom, I don't know why you have it out on your nightstand. What? Hey, yeah? You know how stuff grows legs and wanders off. And with that, I took the lube and stuffed it in my bathroom cabinet and pledged my undying loyalty to whatever supreme being just spared me that near fatal dose of embarrassment. A week passes and the near miss with the lube is a distant memory. On Monday, my mom asks me if it would be okay if she invited a few of her friends over to the house for lunch on Wednesday while I'm at work. Sure. No problem. You gals have a blast. But today's Wednesday, and I come wheeling in from work to find my mom sitting on my couch staring distantly at the screensaver mode on my television. Hey, ma. Oh, hello. Dot. You have a good day. Besides, what's up? How was the lunch with your gal pals? Alright, I'll just come out with it. It was pretty gosh darn horrifying. Dot. Oh. What happened? It's mostly my fault. I did something I shouldn't have and it really bit me in the keister. Dot. I'm sure it's not that bad. Tell me what happened. Well, I was tidying up before the girls came over. Dot. Dot. Ah. Uh, dot. And I looked in your guest bathroom and, I don't know if you realized it or not, but that soap bottle in there doesn't have any soap in it. Dot. Yeah. I've been meaning to pick some up for a while now but it always slips my mind when I go to the store. That's why you should make a list. I always tell you that. Besides, who just has an empty soap bottle in their guest bathroom? You don't even have any palm olive to put in it. Yeah, I have a dishwasher. So that's what horrified you, ma? An empty soap dispenser? No. Now look, don't get mad. But this is where I did something I shouldn't have. Dot. I'm sure whatever it is, it's not as bad as you think. Well, that's when I remembered that bottle of hand sanitizer you have. Oh god. Dot. And I remembered seeing you put in your bathroom cabinet. No. So I thought you wouldn't miss a little of it and I'd have plenty of time to put it back before you came home. Dot. Mom. Please tell me nobody. Cherry came out of the bathroom complaining that she couldn't get it off her hands. She said she had to run it under the water. So she brought me the bottle and I gave it to Lorraine because she's got the best eyes, you know I'm as blind as a bat, Jesus Christ. And, oh boy, she just thought it was the funniest thing. She could barely breathe she was laughing so hard. She said hey, Sherry. Want some more sexual lubricant for your hands? I was wrong. It is as bad as you think. It can't get much worse. And then Lorraine showed everyone that the bottle was half empty and told me to tell you that her daughter is single if you're getting lonely. Oh, how they laughed at that one. Oh, I was so embarrassed. That Lorraine thinks she's a real Joan Rivers. Dot. Oh, wrong again. 
it does get worse. Anyways, I don't want to talk about this again. If you're looking for it, your sexual lubricant is wrapped in hand towel under your bathroom sink. Sorry but I couldn't bring myself to touch it with my hands again. Dinner will be ready at 7. Dot. Dinner was. Eh. Or quiet than usual. Too long didn't read. Buy your lube in a clearly marked container and just deal with your embarrassment up front if your mom finds it. Elegantly designed in a stylish pump bottle, this discreet lubricant can sit on any bedside table and simply blend in. Or not. This was one of the best today I fucked up I've ever read. That is hilarious. I don't know if your mother wears a cardigan and has a southern accent, but she did when I read this. Thank you op. Your humiliation made my day. I don't know if your mother wears a cardigan and has a southern accent, but she did when I read this. Nail the southern accent. A wardrobe is largely cardigan free, but she owns no fewer than a hundred Chico's blouses and they're all, invariably, at least one size too large. When I moved out I put a jar of Vaseline on my nightstand. My mom freaked out and put it in the bathroom. I told her it was for my lips, but she didn't believe me lol. Do people actually use Vaseline to beat off? That shit seems like it'd be way too thick. It'd be like beating off with axle grease or peanut butter. Lube will forever be called its full title of sexual lubricant from now on. Today I fucked up by screaming in a Target bathroom. Obligatory actually happened yesterday. I went to my local Target to buy some normal things like groceries and whatnot. I was about halfway through shopping when I got a sharp pain in my stomach. I know that feeling all too well, diarrhea. So I leave my cart where it is and make a mad sprint to the front of the store where the bathrooms are. Now I don't know why. But I'm extremely self-conscious about the sound of myself using the bathroom. It just bothers me a lot. So I get to the bathroom and sit down, have a moment of panic realizing the coming sounds were going to be ungodly, and with the registers right there I thought perhaps someone would hear. In a moment of poop-induced panic, I released my bowel movement and at the exact same time, I let out a loud and extended scream. I had to scream much longer than I thought I would when I started, being that it just wouldn't stop coming out of me. And it was loud, it was hard to mask the sound even with my screaming. Lo and behold, I was not alone in the bathroom. Basically as soon as I stopped screaming, which albeit lasted a good 15 seconds, I hear some poor soul burst out of the stall at the end. He didn't go to wash his hands, or even address me, he just up and walked out. Understandable, I thought. I probably shouldn't have screamed but I panicked. I finished my business which took a while. But when I came out, someone I can only assume was the manager was waiting for me along with who I assumed was the other guy in the bathroom. The first asked me if I was alright, and I tried to brush it off and walk away but then I heard the manager say we already called an ambulance. Turns out the guy was so freaked out by not only my screams of agony, but also the putrid sound and smell of the diarrheal monster I had just given birth to. So I had to wait another 10 minutes for this ambulance to arrive. I explained to them what had happened, I was way too embarrassed to tell the manager but they were, sort of, chill about it. So they chuckled to themselves and let me go. I left right away and didn't bother going back in for my cart, which was neatly left in ships slash pretzel aisle waiting for my return. I went to Walmart instead. The worst part is this isn't a big town and I've seen that manager before, so now I can't ever go back there again, at least not until the stinky wind of shame has passed from my mind. Too long didn't read, screamed to cover the sound of myself being sick, had an ambulance called for me, and now I can't go back to Target. Edit, I wish I could give a better answer to the question that's being asked a lot, why I felt I needed to scream. My only response is I panicked. Imagine the other guy just sitting there quietly in the Target bathroom just trying to do his business. Suddenly, the door bursts open, quick footsteps shuffle across the floor, a stall door bangs shut, there's 15 seconds of screaming followed by a horrendous smell and total silence. Must have thought he just witnessed a murder. Hey, I need help. I think somebody just died in the men's room. It sounded like he violently shit his soul from his body possibly murdered details are unclear and smell terrible. Not gonna lie, you had my upvote from the title. I'm still laughing picturing the guy's face when you started screaming. Probably scared the shit out of him. 
I'm still at a loss as to why you screamed. Seriously, if you're trying to not draw attention to yourself, screaming is not the way to do it. The worst I've ever thought when hearing someone have bad diarrhea in a public bathroom is damn, glad that's not me. If you were to combine that sound with you screaming though, I'm immediately going to think you're dying and probably either say something to you and then call an ambulance myself. TW, I worked at a Target for two years back in HS, and those bathroom doors haven't changed much in the past 10 years, everyone in the front of the store heard the screaming. I know Op says they panicked, but if your personal phobias are resulting in having people call an ambulance for you, you might want to try a little harder to get over that. So I get to the bathroom and sit down, have a moment of panic realizing the coming sounds were going to be ungodly, and with the registers right there I thought perhaps someone would hear. Can't get over the fact that you thought screaming loudly was a better alternative to poo sounds. The bowel howl. The poop whoop. The stall squall. I like this one. You can just do so much with it. I haven't gotten to those Harry Potter books yet. Today I fucked up by playing a YouTube video that ended everything between my best friend and his fiance. Last night my friend, his fiance, and myself were hanging out and drinking at my place. After a while we decided to smoke a little weed out of my one hitter, because my friend's fiance's never smoked before and she wanted to. All of our tolerances were super low, so after we smoked, we were fairly stoned and we were having a great time, eating taquitos listening to music, and she was having a blast drawing with pens. After a while we decided we wanted to watch something. So I started playing some funny YouTube videos on my smart TV via my phone. After a while I decided to play some Honey Boo Boo highlights, because I thought that would be funny. We start watching Honey Boo Boo and we were loving it. Then my TV screen goes black. A national alert takes over the screen, saying this is not a drill, a nuclear attack on the US will devastate Washington DC, New York, etc. in 20 minutes, seek shelter. Hearing that message hit all of us like a bag of bricks, I called my dad, couldn't think straight, and I thought I was gonna die. While this was happening, my friend's fiancé breaks down and admits to cheating on my friend five months ago. After a couple more moments, I remembered that we were watching a YouTube video, and I decided to look at the YouTube video. I then saw the title said a prank video. I told everyone and it was a relief, but my friend found out his fiancé cheated on him. There was about 20 minutes of tears, until she ubered straight home, everything was a mess. Skeptical. Too long didn't read, drinking with my friend and his fiancé. Played a prank YouTube video by accident, all of us thought we will die from a nuclear attack. Fiancé admitted to cheating on my friend in the heat of the moment. Edit, I realize I didn't actually fuck up, because the cheating was exposed. It, didn't think this post would blow up like this. Thanks. I realize how absurd this story sounds, but it's true. Here is the link to the video I played. Lmao this is like the most outlandish anti-drug commercial that you see and laugh at because of how that would never happen. What a fucking idiot, hey before we die, I want our last feeling on earth together to be devastation and heartbreak. I think she was just guilty and wanted to get it off her chest. Lmao, this isn't a today I fucked up, last night you did your buddy a favor. Your best friend will feel hurt for a while, but this is for the best. At least she was the one who confessed. When I read the title, I thought that you showed them something offensive or something that triggered one of them and ruined their relationship. But instead, what happened was in your friend's best interest. Dave Barry has a story like this. He lives in Florida and he and his wife were stoned and watching a movie when it got interrupted with news of a sudden hurricane, and they realized, we are going to die. We are not in a state right now to remember to close the fridge door, there is literally no chance that we can make our house hurricane proof in a few hours. They were finally saved when he suddenly realized that they were watching a videotape, 